to your daily dose of Danny. I am Danielle Rocco and I have the amazing Scott here with me. He is the business coach of business coaches in the Boston area, but basically, you know, nowadays you can just, you can have a coach anywhere. Why am I blurry? I hate yeah. There it is. There we go. Better. There. Huh. So we're here today in, this is, this is my house, this is my corner office. My first time in your home up in Exeter. Yeah. Um, but I love it. Beautiful home. Thank, well, thank you. There's painting going on. There's a bunch of crap. We might be a little high from the fumes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We were doing some filming for the next level of you. Scott is helping Angela with the business side of things. So how did that go? Well, how, what was your take on that? Oh, that was really fun. And thanks again for having me here. Of it's course. great to be in your home, and I'm so happy to be part of your community too. And uh, you know, I'm a career and performance coach, so I do work. You know, and essentially, I wear a few hats and helping people on the business side too. Working with Angela this morning was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I really admire what she's trying to do, what she's creating, and um, I like that she's gone through a little bit of a journey already. That I gravitate, you know, as a coach, yeah. I really gravitate to people who've gone through a journey, you know, and uh, I love the whole Joseph Campbell, our hero story, our hero's journey, where, you know, we, we learn, we grow, uh -huh. and then something happens that we bottom out. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really dig into Angela's bottoming out part. But what the fun part is, what the beautiful part of the story and our journey is, is that when we pick ourselves up yeah. and we start the climb back up, because we're armed with so much more. Because we had struggle, we know more about ourselves, and we know about the value that we can bring to others. Right. And she sees that in herself now. She's wicked into it. Like, she gets it. Yeah. She, yeah. like, she has all of these obstacles, which you'll know if you watch the um, series, you'll see her uncover them. Mm -hmm. But she's aware of them, which is great. Because yeah. sometimes people have these obstacles. Good morning, Michelle. Um, and they have no idea. They are just like, I don't know why I do this. I mean, we've all had those parts, but it's kind of cool working with her because at least yeah. she has some sort of recognition of like, I stink at this, <laughs> you know? So it, it helps a bit. I love well, it. Uh, well, however, you know, being mindful, number one, but then as aware as possible. Self-awareness is huge, as you yeah. know. You and I have talked about that many times. And it's not just knowing our strengths. That's, that's good, that's important, but it's also a little overplayed and overrated, overrated. <laughs> We have to know a lot about ourselves, you know, how you bring value, what's your unique quality or gift right. that's going to make you different from everybody else in your circle. What, what, what makes you different than the people that you work with and that you run with in your circles? Oh, I'm so different. You are. Yes. Yeah. We know this. Yes. I might be an special. alien. Yeah. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> I'm not going to use that word, but you, you can call yourself an alien. Yeah. And then, you know, what we want to do is we want to capitalize on our yeah. special gifts yeah. and talents that make us unique and bring them out to the world, con convey them in different ways. So, so she's on the path to doing that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm yeah. super excited. So I kind of labeled this as know your gut, but you have to um, be in tune with your spirit because kind of um, that's how I met Scott was... Um, at an event and you were speaking i was it was one of jackie zuck's events next yeah. time scene events yeah last yeah. year and that was a fun night and i got to speak and and then you and i just naturally connected afterwards we spoke i did i thought it was like he's a cool dude <laughs> and you know how i connect with cool dudes it's my thing it's my jam well right? I'm, I'm glad that's your jam <laughs> it is so that you and i now know each other and i i feel like i've learned that we had a really good deep conversation that night I yeah. knew we were going to connect more. You were, um, well, you were at a different stage in your journey. Yes. You know, like any of us. So, and I know you've grown a lot since then. Yeah. Isn't that so funny? Total, totally different um, mm -hmm. person. But the good thing is that I was, even back then, even though I was um, kind of coming into this, oh, Tammy, I'm wonderfully different. That is such a better way than calling yes. myself special and an alien. Tammy, you rock. Tammy's cool. You should actually hey, become friends with Tammy. She's Tammy, look me up. We'll She's connect. on the West Coast. Okay. Cool. She, um, so anyways, that <laughs> side note. Um, I was such a baby in my journey, you know, back, back then. But I was in tune with myself. I knew my morals. I had my intuition. I knew my strengths. I knew my faults. And I knew kind of where I was going. I didn't know how it would turn out. Mm -hmm. But I knew it was. And so you fit into you, my life in that way. Um, but if you don't know um, who you are, if you're unsure of 
your spirit, right? That spirit's like that little thing inside you. I think that's when we kind of get off track and we can't create freedom in our life. We can't, mm -hmm. we create more chaos than, um, you know, abundance and freedom because yeah. we are in this place that we think that, um, what am I trying to say? There's something bigger than just us here. There's a universe, there's God, there's whatever mm -hmm. those things that you believe in. And when you're not in tuned into who you are, you are not willing and open to what's out there. Like you were out there for me. He was. And, and well, that's a good point too. And I, I wanna to respond to the first part of that, but it's so true. Like we wanna be mindful and present and aware so that when yeah. opportunities and the right people come across our path, mm -hmm. you know, we're able to spot, recognize and welcome it in. Right. I think a lot of times people, and I know this happened to me several times in my life where we're so in the vacuum and tunnel vision, you know, usually around our career, sometimes in our relationship, sometimes yeah. both, and we're missing opportunities. We're missing great people coming down the path. We're missing people that could be a partner or a colleague in a future business venture or somebody who could offer us a great opportunity to build something different and we're just not seeing it. Right. Um, you know, and part of the first thing that you said too is, you know, I really believe, and I've seen this, you know, as a career coach for a couple of years now, and again, having lived in corporate for 18 years, yes. you know, we do lose sight of who we are. He might have been dying when he was in corporate. A couple times, a couple periods I was <laughs> a little bit, you know, soul sucking jobs in it. Listen, some jobs, for some people, having a traditional job is great. Oh, gosh, yeah. Is exactly what they need and what they want. And, uh, you know, for a while, having those kind of jobs was good for me. Mm -hmm. But there were periods where I definitely felt disconnected. I felt lost. I felt stuck. And I think what happens with a lot of people, to your point about losing ourselves, is you know, we, we do. Because we go through a number of years, especially early in life, where we're learning about ourselves. Yeah. But then college, the pressures of a job, marriage responsibilities, bills, growth, and combined, think about this, all the expectations that come from family members, friends, peers, colleagues, society, social media, the news, it's all thrown at us. That's how we lose ourselves mm -hmm. because we're focused on all these other things that are coming at us. My parents want me to be this. My girlfriend thinks I should do that. All my friends are driving BMWs. I don't have one yet. My other buddy, he works. He's at the top of the line with McKinsey or Google. I want a job like that. And we forget and we lose connection to who we are it is I think that goes right along with we let our ego take over and so for me and what I do in relationship coaching I talk constantly about the ego mm -hmm. those external things that you all said it feeds that it feeds because you the comparison is your ego saying like I want more I need more my more is what's going to give me my value and my status that car that job that money um, I was just being so I'm going through the Dow have you ever done that it's like 80 chapters of the Dow or what I think it's 80 I'm like on nine. No, no. okay it's it, it's um I'm gonna send it to you the version that I'm, I'm listening to I can do like one chapter a week because that's how it is and this one is about kind of that it's like I know enough is enough like, take a eat half your meal and then just sit back and be like, am I full? Am I not? Mm -hmm. Look at your, like, job. A am I, am I uh, wanting more or do I have enough? You know, it's kind of that, like, anyways, it kind of tied in, in it uh, a little bit and it popped into my brain and I wanted to share that because really just being in the, um, that gets you close to your spirit, just being in this, uh, this place, right? That middle, that, like, place where you're not up, you're not down, you're not judging, you're mm -hmm. not comparing, you're just being, allows you to have freedom. So I want to go talk about freedom a little bit yeah. because I love me some freedom. Ditto. I love it. <laughs> I love it from a military standpoint and I love it from my own personal standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, but you have something special going on and I just want to share with everybody because you were telling me about it. I'm like, this is good. This is, there are people out there that need exactly what you have. Like I said, my, my older son, um, he is, you know, a Marine. That's great for him. Tell him what to do. You know, like he's a black and white kind of guy. There's right and there's wrong. There is no in between. And he does very well in that structured environment, right? Mm -hmm. So it's perfect. We need people like that. But for someone like myself, who's a little bit um, all over the place, well, per se. not so much anymore, right? Because well, no, not all over the place, but I'm like, 
I get excited. I can't live in a box. I can't yeah. sit behind a desk and be like, here I am. I'm showing up nine to five and I'm going home. Mm -hmm. Like that? That doesn't represent freedom for you. No. No, not no. at all. So people like me, what, 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 what are well, you going to do for me? <laughs> freedom is different for everybody. So I would ask you, if you're watching this now, later on, Danielle, for yourself yeah. too, which I know you've done a lot of this work, is, you know, think, number one, ask yourself, what does freedom mean to me? What does it represent? What does it look like? Okay, I'll answer. Can, I, can, yeah. we, can we go this through this? This is even this? better. Let's go through okay. it. Okay, yeah. cool. Because I want to know, because I'm always about evolving myself. I never want to be like, I am so smart. I need nothing else in life. <gasps> that happens, you need to send me a little no, bit. No, we all Someone, need help, we all need learning and growth. Somebody came, some demon came into my body and took over at that point. Okay, so ask me the question again, because I okay. got set up. What, what does freedom mean or look like to you? Oh, so freedom to me means that I can share my passions mm -hmm. with the world, and I'm not like um, restrained by having to show up at a certain time, live somebody else's dreams, mm -hmm. be part of their, what they want to achieve. It's what I feel that is in my heart, the gifts that God gave me, I'm able to share with them on my timeline, how I want to do it, when I want to do it, and with who I want to do it with. Absolutely, you hit on so many of the key parts. So, so as you know, Danielle and I are talking through this, and ask yourself too, Think of the same, ask yourself, what does freedom look like or what does it mean to me? And you're giving us some insight too, like you want to help and serve people. Yes. You, you Part of freedom for you is being able to go out and give your gifts to other people in a way that's going to lift them up. And I'll also say, I'll say it in a little bit of a different way, you want to do it with the right people. Yes. You want to do it with the people who you know are your right clients, are the right people you want in your circle, who also lift you up because by them responding and being aligned with what you do, they make your life better, they help you grow. It's really important that we connect. We, it's not just surround yourself with good people, that, that's part of it, but who are people who are aligned with where you wanna go, including when you serve and coach people like Danielle does, and they're, they're, they're helping you in turn be better, be better at what you do. This, they help, when you have the right clients, it helps you be a better coach. It's true. Right? Or, yeah. Are or you even, seeing that now in your, in, uh, in your work? Definitely, definitely. And even who I surround myself with, mm -hmm. like Dan just popped up. Dan did my video for me that's in, um, mm -hmm. on the beginning of my TV show. And he's constantly giving me tips, like right now. The background's much better and the lighting and the window, like, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he's part of my freedom journey. He's part of someone that I am connected with. Um, socially and business side of it, right? He's lifting me up. Hopefully I'm lifting you up, Dan, because <laughs> you're amazing. Um, so it goes even farther than just my clients. It, it's funny that he just popped up. So I'm like, right? Absolutely, yeah, there's a reason why. There's, the universe is hearing what you're saying, yeah. literally, right now. <laughs> so, you know, and, and part of the beauty of this is when we really get more clarity, and it's a continuous journey, but when we know what we want to create, when we know, like, all right, freedom means this for me. Freedom means that I'm not in an office every day. Um, I'm working from home. I'm going out to meetings. I'm connecting with people in different environments. You then can make choices. Here's the beauty of it. When, you, when you're connected with what freedom represents, you can then make choices to put yourself in a position to do these things. And there, you're not struggling to say, should I work with this person? Should I take this opportunity? You know, Danielle, when I, when I get asked to do an event, and I share this example a lot, it only takes me not even a minute, it may take me a minute or less to say, all right, does this event align with where I want to go and the life I want to have and the impact that I want to make? And if it does, I'm going to yeah. do it. Do you feel like you need a very, um, it's easier the more clarity you have on that? Like when people say, uh, freedom means to me that I don't have to worry about bills anymore. Freedom means to me that I'm financially abundant. Do you find that those, that's a very broad statement because like mm -hmm. what's abundance to me might not be abundance to you, financial abundance, you know, right. I might, my dollar might amount might be something different. So do you find it's harder for people that are kind of vague in that? No. So it's or not that it's, it, I wouldn't say that it's harder. So again, freedom is different for everybody and financial freedom is huge. It's a huge part because Money allows us to do more of what we want to do. It's right. a great resource. Money is a result from the value we give to others. 
And then we want to use that money to help us do more of building this, impacting people this way, mm -hmm. go where we want to go, be around the people we want. To. So I wouldn't say that it's harder, but what I would say is that, you know, if you want better results, if you want to create like more of what you want, keep digging, keep getting more and more clarity. That's why I say not only two of the things that we always have to be working on. Number one is mindset. Mindset, yeah. our, our mindset work never, you know, being accountable, um, growth mindset, you know, being grateful as opposed to living off of expectations. Yeah, get but, rid of your ego every day. And yep, keep the ego in check Constant. over to the side, but also continually be looking within and doing the work on yourself so that you can have clarity. Because as you know, we change over time. Oh. So what might hopefully. represent hopefully. Freedom, hopefully. Yep, we do. And what FYI might represent people, freedom for me this year might be a little different next year. Right. You know, maybe this is not the best example, but I'll just maybe this year I enjoy doing most of my work in the greater Boston area. I yeah. want to do events here. I want to have most of my clients here. But then a year from now, freedom might for me look like, you know what? I actually want to travel around the country and do workshops in different cities so mm. I can get in front of new people. Oh, let's play that game. Hey, Renee. Good morning, sunshine. Um, let's, let's, let's play the game of what was freedom. Everybody do this. I think this is going to be fun for me. What was freedom for us last year? Oh, yeah. This and good. what is freedom for us now? Okay, so I know what mine was. Freedom for mine, because this is what made me think of it. Freedom for my, me last year was um, creating a community, right, that of like like-minded people that like uh, we had the same morals, the same drive, the same passion mm -hmm. in this area that I live in. So you know, the seacoast of New Hampshire and Boston. That was big to me. That was big. Mm -hmm. That was last year. Um, no, that is not where I am now. Now I'm like, I want to create, gosh darn it, what happened to us? I want to create, uh, freedom for me now is all over the world, not even the country, all over the world. I want to help um, support and bring the vibration of the world up, the people of up, and like then I have this passion of really diving in and bringing the unit of um, the military families awesome. because that means so much to me, right? Oh. So for me, it's like going around, traveling to them, um, helping secure in the unit of their family, make it stronger, mm -hmm. right? That's like a big thing to me. And I want to go all over the world doing, um, changing the relationships of people with it. Very cool. Yeah, I know you were telling me a little bit yeah. that, about that recently. I think that's such a great mission, by the way. Yeah, and, and I know... Well, I have a good partner in crime with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, great cause. And those people, you know, who have had long stints in the military and or military relationships. <laughs> Until you brought that up to me, I hadn't thought much about that. It must right? be an interesting dynamic. It is. I have to tell, like, quickly, and then you got to yeah, tell me what but, you did. So I was just on the phone. This goes back to people in your life. Listen to your gut and know where you are spiritually. Because here's another connection. I met a guy in Las Vegas, super sweet Southern guy, super respectful, nothing weird people. We became friends. His name was Joe. Three months later, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. This is off story. I mean, I cannot wait to go to the office and hang out. And if you people don't know what that is, you need to message me and I will bring you there. Um, so anyways, Joe and I met. Brilliant man. Three months later, just whatever. Three months later, he texts me. He's like, um, I get this this message. Hello, ma'am. You don't know me, but my Uncle Joe said that I really need to talk to you. I would really appreciate if, so polite, so Southern, so like, if you could give me a call back at your earliest convenience, da, da, da. I was like, well, he is so polite. It's so cute. I'm going to call him back. It was Joe's nephew. Nep his um, nephew is former military, an amazing story, has an amazing company that does this nonprofit to bring, um, give gym memberships to vets that are mm. suffering with wow. uh, post-traumatic syndrome, right? Not just like weightlifting stuff, but like yoga, massage, like all of that stuff to help them. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I listened to my intuition about this guy, Joe, who then led me to Dom, and in this works. right yeah. and now I'm doing this project to bring yeah. the unit of family together and for military families and vets and guess who is going to be one of the guys 
Dom, and, and we're gonna, we have this whole other thing, like, talk about listening to your gut, being mm -hmm. in tune with your spiritual connection. The universe makes things happen. It's so funny because as you Which tell that me. story, it's reminding me too about a lot of the people who are big impact difference makers in my life now are second and third connections. I met somebody mm -hmm. and then through activities I did or they either introduced me to somebody else or something I did because of that person led me to meeting more people who are now making, who are a big part of my life and making an impact. And isn't that now like funny how it's all leading into like for me, you're going to tell me yours, but it's all leading into where I want to be now. A year ago when I met this person, it had nothing to do with what freedom meant to me a year ago. So that's what's so great when the more in tune you become with yourself, right? With your oh mindset, with your spirit, with the universe it has a way of playing itself out into where it's all fitting into where I want to be and what freedom creates to me now. Absolutely. Yeah, you're, you're a great example of how that road evolves. And along the way, really exciting, awesome things are happening too, by the way. Yeah. It's not like there's just something cool that happens at point A, and then once, like a few months later or a year down the road, something else happens. No, it's constant stuff going on that's inputting to you and helping you grow and change, and then getting more clarity around what you want to do. Right. And keep, or keep doing, or change, or add on, whatever the case might be. But it does have to do with me recognizing who I am, have the to. core of who I am, yeah. letting go of my ego, deciding what freedom is, yeah. and being open to the universe. So tell me about you. You just, I just rattled, I just stole the stage on that one. Well, I'm giving it back to you. You can have it. You can have it, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you deserve to be on the stage, you know? And I love your energy, it's great. So mine, mine is pretty simple and straightforward too is, so a year ago, at this point, I really wanted to continue to focus on in impacting a person at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, as a career coach, helping people take ownership of their career, get clarity around where they were going, and, and I loved doing it. Right. And I just was out looking for more and more individual clients, but what changed for me was, I mean, there's a lot to it, and I can't go through it all in this video, but just to give you a few nuggets, I realized, number one, that I wanted to make a bigger impact. So I love helping people individually, but how I, I enjoy what I do so much, and it's to me, it's really important, and I so believe in the fact that people deserve to have fulfillment in the work that we do. Yes. We deserve that, but we gotta make it happen. We, we need to be accountable for that. So I love how, how having that impact, but I wanna help more people do it. So I started to realize, okay, how can I go from helping a person at a time? And I, I had multiple clients at one time, but I literally want to help hundreds and then thousands of people. Yeah. So my, my mind and my mindset and my visions would start to evolve to, okay, how can I see myself making a bigger impact? Right. And I wanted to do more events. I wanted to do more workshops. I wanted to start to scale and meet people in different places. And by the way, and you know this, we've talked about it. You know, it's hard. It's hard to do the marketing and the messaging on social media and other platforms to reach people in a coherent way all the right. time. But as you know, I'm putting a lot of energy into it. Well, it's one of the reasons why I do videos like this <laughs> because I want to be able to reach more people. So, more events, more group work, more workshops, and more time on social media. One last thing I am much more present on Instagram. I would ask if you don't follow me on Instagram now that you jump in and check me out and follow me over there. It's just at Scott Stoltz, and I would really appreciate it because- I follow a, him. It's a great, thank you. It's a good platform, it's very nimble. So I just wanna look for different ways to message and impact people on a more widespread basis as opposed to a year ago, it was more like individual. Right, hey, if anyone knows any good ideas, what works for them, comment it because that's what it's about, mm -hmm. you know? Please. Share, collaborate. I'm always looking for good insight. Right, me too. Me too, I am not the brains. Just like Dan, I talked about, he talked about the lighting, but so I have this podcast coming and he, he had no idea, I didn't talk to him, I didn't talk to any about it, and he was like, you should do your daily dose on a podcast. I'm like, oh, brilliant, I just have one that's starting. Never crossed my mind. Never crossed my mind to like make that connection. Mm -hmm. It's not my world, it's not how my real house goes. So Dan. Thank you, huge, you guys, he's, a, he's an amazing video photographer. Video, videographer? Videographer. Videographer. Mm -hmm. um, he's a, awesome in that. Like, you need a guy, he, he's, well, well, look at my video, it's so good. It made me look so good. Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, we get better too. 
and your message gets better yeah. and your message gets clearer yeah. too. So you know, I don't, I don't remember you ever struggling on camera, not at all. But you oh, know, go back a year ago, you'd be like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh maybe gosh, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, year, two years, maybe, okay. two, yeah. I've seen change in myself too. Yeah. Yeah, I was definitely. Yeah. I have to talk about one thing that you said about accountability because uh, we were talking about this because we both have academies or. I call it an academy, you call it a... Create your great, I have a digital platform. Digital platform. Yeah. So courses, online courses basically, yeah. is what it was. And we were talking about them. And so I have been guilty of this myself. So I get it, right? You get a course, there's, you just, you have it, these weekly modules and you're doing it on your own. And how many of us have gone through week one, week two, and then nothing else happens after that? Because our life happens. And so we were talking about that struggle um, of that. I mean, it's a, it's a human nature thing. If people don't hold us accountable, a majority of the time, we're not going to do it. It's, it's, it. That's just how we are. And, and I've done it. I, I took a class and I did two, two modules. And I paid for four. I did half of it. Yeah, that's, that's common. Yeah. Right? It's common. So... What I do now, and what I recommend everybody else do, this is my tip from me to you, is do the next, uh, usually there's like the basic with no coaching, right? You gotta do it on your own. And then there's the other one where you have like group coaching, group accountability. That's where I go. Or I go with the, like the course and the one-on-one -on -one and I pay more money. Because it's worth it to me, because I know I'm gonna do it. And the reason I'm doing it is because there's something wrong with me <laughs> or I want to better myself in, um, in some part that I'm at, whether it's speaking, whether it's um, something business oriented or spiritual, I'm trying to evolve in it. So I go straight to the higher packages because I know I'll get it done. Like I know my personality. So if that's your personality, guys, go spend the extra money because in the long run, it's actually saving you money. So I just did a, the other day, I did a video on it's on IGTV and I talked about the fact that we're not honest enough with ourselves and truthful enough. Mm -hmm. And to Danielle's point, I love that you called that out. You have to know yourself and to know, your, to know yourself is not enough. You have to be honest with yourself. <laughs> To know like, hey, on my own, I probably don't have the discipline to sit down and do X, Y, Z course. Right. However, if I'm in a group, I respond well when I'm around other people, or if I have an accountability part, whatever the case may be. So be honest, don't kid yourself to say, oh, if I spend this money or if I hire this coach or take this course, I'm gonna get all the work done. You gotta yeah. be truthful. It's just, it's no different than people rationalize a job that is just so-so or average for them and they, they kid themselves into thinking, oh, that's a great job, it's paying all my bills, yeah. you know, I have a nice business card, it looks good on the outside, or a relationship. Uh, my girlfriend, you know, we have a good thing going, and meanwhile, you're both miserable, you know, because they don't want to let other people see into who they really are, you know, it's all They can't of, be themselves. Yeah, yeah. So just be truthful and honest with yourself. That, that alone, speaking of freedom, when you're that honest with yourself, that is the core, like that's the bedrock to getting freedom is being open and honest with yourself. Then you can make the decisions about bringing into your life what you need to create the freedom. Drop mic if I had a mic, which is coming today on Amazon. Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> if I had it, I would not drop it. I just bought it. You had me mic'd up earlier. It's I did. It's been a fun day doing videos and sharing, meeting Angela. and It's all about, you know, listen, I, I'll end with, the, I mean, I'm happy to keep going if you want, but freedom. because We can let them go. We can let them we ultimately want, yes, we want a nice and a good job. We want good income. We want to do something that aligns with our purpose. I'm all about that. That's what I teach. But I realize that at the end, the end of the day, I know that's a cliche, but what we really want is freedom in our life. That's to true. To do the things we really want to do. And there's no shame. There's nothing bad about making as much money as you can make so that you can then do more of what you want to do. Yeah. Let go of money guilt. Money shame. Shape. That's a whole other. That's a whole other topic. We won't even start because that'll get me going. On that, that you know what? Things. You're going to have times in your life where you're going to need to give back. You're going to want to take mm -hmm. care of a family member or friend who's sick. So that mm -hmm. money that you make is going to help you be in position to do all that. Right. You know, my parents live in Florida. My mom had surgery this week. It pretty much sucked that I couldn't go down there for a day and a half to be there. Right. You know, it went well. She's home recovering now. But I would have loved to have flown down there. Now I didn't really have the time freedom this week. 
But, you but want, it's all the same. Money, time, it yeah. doesn't matter. You want to be able to do oh, these look, things. Oh, look, mom just popped she up just on this thing. My phone. How funny is that? <laughs> that is so weird. I'm glad you caught that. A lot of that, that happening today. Yeah. Who else is going to pop up that I need to speak with today? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, but it's true. So it's freedom of time. And Money, much, health. All of that. All of that stuff. Yeah. So... Guys, thanks for listening. Thank you so much for coming mm -hmm. and helping Angela being a part yeah. of my mission in this world. Love it. Um, yeah. And uh, we will see you guys on the other side. You do great work, Danielle. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.